would you say this phenomenon you're trying to explain is part of it like a midlife crisis? Well, maybe, actually. Because you feel like you're getting older or something. When it happened to me, it wasn't more about my age, but it was really because I valued my self-worth on how much I weighed and how I looked. And you can imagine, because also growing up in a family with a lot of beautiful women, like Georgina. Well, your mom's a beauty mom. queen. She's, you know, right? known and famous for being so beautiful. So, yeah, there's a lot of emphasis on your physical External, appearance. yeah, exactly. And so I think that really shaped how I raise Balti now because I don't necessarily comment on how he looks physically. I noticed here everybody does. Everybody always has a comment on how he looks physically. Nobody ever says, you know, that is so observant, Balti, or, you know, that is such a good question. Everybody's always like, oh, he looks like this, or he looks like that. And do you, you notice that? Yeah, yeah, I do. And I notice also, I saw you like teaching him affirmations at a young age and everything. Yeah, do you we do affirmations every day. You still do that? Every day. Oh, it wasn't just no like a, a thing. Oh, no. You and, can and call him now and he'll know. He'll tell you that. Yeah, I, I, I feel like that'll work more for children than it will for us because they're still so innocent and they believe everything. So if they believe that they're confident and strong and independent, then they will be confident, strong, and independent, right? You know, the funny thing is when I went to therapy and my therapist told me that, I found it so ridiculous. I found it so silly that you have to look in the mirror and say, I'm beautiful. It, oh my God, I'm going to cry. Um, it was really tough for me when I went through that because I didn't feel beautiful because I was extremely overweight <clears throat> and um, I had to go to therapy a lot and my therapist really said you need to sit in front of the mirror and say you're beautiful and you are enough because otherwise your son is not going to think he's enough and so when she said that to me it just clicked I was like I am enough and I want him to grow up thinking he is enough everything that he is is enough and so now when, I, when I'm with my kids, you know, I always tell them, you know, you don't have to earn my love. You can just rest in my love. And everything that you are is enough. You don't have to, you know, when people are like, oh, he's going to be a doctor or this and that. He's going to be a mom. I'm just like, he can be whatever he wants. He's enough. And the reason why I'm so passionate about that is because I know how difficult it is to think you're not enough. Yeah, yeah, I totally yeah. understand that. But you've just probably, maybe not on your level, but I do remember being 12 years old and, and in the in America, Americans go through puberty and they're freaking men at 13 years old. And yeah. I have Filipino genes, so I was still a kid at 13 <laughs> years old. Yeah. Which Fili I'm sure Filipinos and Asians, they're, you're all still a kid until you're like 16 or something. Yeah. But Americans drink like GMO, yeah, yeah. hormone-induced <laughs> milk, and, yeah, and they're men, like and they're hairy, and they have big you know yeah the lungs and everything at a very <laughs> young age and then i was good at sports and then once everyone went through puberty i wasn't the best at sports anymore because i was small and that led to i believe this whole like napoleon complex and thing that like i want to you know be the best and take over the world and prove every everyone that you know i'm worth something so i totally get you and yeah i am i was at least driven by dark energy wanting to prove the world wrong yeah i mean it's it, it turned out really good for you because you didn't come out bitter right yeah. and you don't live your life jealous. but it's because i put so much effort also into self-development into yeah. reminding myself and being introspective yeah. good because not a lot of people do that and you know i think you it's can't... more uncommon amongst men yeah probably no even women you don't realize when you're jealous of someone, you know, they say in Filipino, hindi na susukat ang inggit. You can't measure envy. You don't realize why you feel this way. And it's very uncomfortable for you to even acknowledge that you're envious of this person or that person or someone else. But just going back to affirmations when you talked about children believe it more when you say it. When I went through, through therapy, I really didn't believe it, right? And my therapist was like, no, you have to keep saying it, keep saying it until you believe it. And so I just do that every day. I talk to my, the mirror. I do my mirror talk. Like, I'm beautiful. I'm enough. I'm amazing. I'm efficient. I'm grounded. And then we do it with my, my son. I tell you, it's going to change the way you conduct your life. It's so positive. You need to just do it for one week and then tell me how you feel after. Because 
we're so used to going in front of the mirror and be like, oh, I look like shit. Oh my God, my pores are so big, my eye bags. Yeah, actually. And we tear ourselves down because we think it's a form of humility, but it's not. Because hearing those words just makes you feel like shit. So, you, so, so I did this exercise with my therapist, right? She goes, okay, go look at the mirror. Tell me what you love about yourself. I swear, we took like an hour. I couldn't say anything. I was like, oh, I love my how, like... I don't know, my lips aren't as chapped as yesterday. It's like, I couldn't find anything positive about myself. And then she goes, okay, talk about your, your husband, right? What do you like about Adrian? And I was like, oh my God, Adrian has like amazing eyebrows. It's so thick. His hair is so like chocolate brown. His nose is so beautiful and pointy. And it was just like nonstop. And she was like, why can you say so many good things about your husband? You can't even say one good thing about yourself. And the reason why I'm sharing this is because I want to emphasize that Mirror talk is so crucial into self-development. If you liked what you saw and you want to listen to the full episode, then download Spotify and follow us at Superhuman with Will Dasovich. It's completely free. It's linked below and easy to use.